What's up everybody, Jade up here. Today's video is going to be on a main tank uh, build for CloudWars Plus 3, 2, uh, and even 1. You can use this for just regular vet as well if your main priority is to tank um, some Maja. I'm not going to touch too much on the pulls as you can read it yourself in the attributes as well. Uh, main thing I'm going to be talking about is the physical and spell resistance and letting you know that why we have it like this so with so without our major resolve and major ward up we're at 29k spell and 20k physical and the reason why is because if your main priority 99% of the time you're going to be tanking Zamaja you want more spell spell resistance than you want physical and the reason why is uh, for for that reason Zamaja only does spell damage so that's why we want higher spell uh, spell resistance. And you're not going to be taking anything that has physical damage. So Maja does no physical damage. So that's why we don't have anything there. Um, we can buff up right quick. So when we're fully so when we're fully buffed up, we're at 34k, almost 35, and we're at 25k physical. We are stage four vampire doesn't matter because you're not going to get the fire AoE as long as you maintain Zamaja. As long as you're taking Zamaja, you won't get the fire AoE. Unless you have to swap taunt and the off tank has one of the off tanks has to grab Zamaja, then you have a chance of getting the fire AoE. If you do get it, just say where you're going to stack with it and then, uh, you know, take your taunt back when you're ready. Uh, stage 4 Vampire, I think I went over that. If I didn't, but uh, stage four vampire, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Evan armor. We are running Evan and Torongs with Earth Core, just so you guys know ahead of time. Uh, so that's why we have Ebony. <coughs> Excuse me. And we are running uh, Tri Stat Food. Go right into our gear. As again, we are running Earth Core. We are running Torongs, and we are running Evan. So Earth Core, if you don't know what it does, basically heals you for X amount uh, over a six second period, and it occurs once every 35 seconds. I have both heavy here. I would like a medium uh, infused or sturdy or well fitted something. I would like something, you know, that was medium, but this is just what I got. I am using uh, Ebon. I do have uh, Sturdy and Chest, of which I had infused, but I don't, but I have Sturdy. Um, and then I have uh, Well Fitted on my boots. I do like one Well Fitted, just because I do roll dodge sometimes. Um, There's just sometimes on Zamaja that I do roll dodge, and it does help to kind of reduce that. And we are sprinting uh, a little bit in here, so it is kind of nice to uh, get that reduced uh, a little. Uh, on our Jewelry... I am running two Harmony, and I am running one Infused. Once I do get my last trait research for Harmony, I'll probably run three Harmony just in Cloud Rest. And the reason why is because that heal debuff, if you do get hit by it, um, activating your Harmony with a Blood Altar or Healing Orb or something like that, you do get quite a bit back. And if you don't know what Harmony does, it just increases your healing um, your resource restore, all that stuff by 30%. So I did, that is pretty nice. And I do have um, Magic Recovery on two. Just to kind of get that little bit extra Magic magic Recovery. And then I do have a Reduce um, uh, the Shield Play. So, um, we do have Infused Torogs on our uh, legs. And then Sturdy on our gloves. As far as our weapons, I have both infused and both running crusher. The reason why is uh, mainly because if you get caught on the opposite bar, you can still keep that crusher up time. And then I do have a sturdy uh, shield. Think I went over everything. I'm just gonna go right back through it and just kind of check, uh, just just in case I did miss something. Oh, I think I'm pretty much good. Alright. Um, 
As far as that goes, I guess we can go into our skills right quick. So this is the setup that I have for my skills. Um, I hate having Green's Dragon Blood on my front bar, but <laughs> just not comfortable enough to have it on my back. But I am running Pierce Armor, Green's Dragon Blood, engulfing. Uh, I have swapped to Fragmented Shields, and I am running uh, Heroic Slash with Aggressive Warhorn. These are all pretty basic skills that everybody should know. Uh, of course, Engulfing Flame, if you guys don't know, uh, you can read at the bottom 10% more damage for um, from all fire damage attacks. Which kind of helps out the group DPS. Green's Dragon Blood, it's a nice little heal that it, uh, that it does. Uh, really, really nice. Basically heals you for 39% of your missing health. You combine uh, Fragmented Shields, which increases the major mending time with this. You're, you're pretty much set. I have been, I have been messing with uh, igneous and fragmental shields, fragmented shields. Um, the difference is, is really just the igneous shields have a beggar shield on you, and less major mending time. Um, I, I, it's totally preference at this point. I feel, if you feel like you're taking a lot of damage. And just go with Igneous Shields to, you know, kind of help mitigate some of that stuff. Just kind of help put that shield up. Um, I And again, I've been swapping back and forth from this. So it's just kind of, I think at this point it's kind of preference. Because the group really isn't around me too much anyways to get Igneous Shields sometimes. Um, only with the first boss and then the second and third they're kind of like all over the place. Um, so it's it's totally preference, just whatever you feel like you need. Uh, Pierce armor, how definitely our taunts, and then heroic slash just to kind of keep that up with minor heroism, and then of course um, the uh, the main, uh, and then aggressive warhorn. Obviously, you're gonna have five people with warhorn. You're gonna have three tanks and two healers, so there's no reason this shouldn't be up 100% of the time. At the very least, the minor toughness should be up 100% of the time. Our back bar of inner fire, or excuse me, inner rage, uh, the magical morph, my balance on my back bar. Um, when I do hit balance, I try to hit it when I transition from Samaja. So Samaja will be like right here, and then Samaja will teleport, you know, further away. Uh, I usually try and hit balance when I go towards Samaja. That way I can try and keep this up 100%. Doesn't always happen, um, but you know what? That's why we have high spell resistance. But the... <clears throat> excuse me. I take a drink of water. Um, the reason I like balance over hardened armor and all that stuff is... Mainly because it, it gives me magic back. And plus the, the major uh, resolve and major ward lasts longer. Lasts 27 seconds, so it's really nice. Um, the only downside to this is it does reduce your healing done and your damage shield strength by 50% for 4 seconds, which isn't that long. So by the time you hit this and you swap bars, it, it's at like 2 seconds, if not 1 second, and then it's already gone. Uh, I did swap to energy orbs because I just got it leveled up. I was using vigor, um, and I do like energy orbs a lot better. I just recently swapped to them. Uh, I I have them on Xbox and I've been using them on Xbox, but on PC I just didn't have them leveled up. As you can see, it's only level one. Uh, basically, what it does is uh, it just heals it heals people within the range, and then when they activate it, they get a they get a burst of magic or stam, whichever you know. If you have magic characters, you're gonna get magic back. If you have stam, you're gonna get stam back. So this is a nice little um, way to help up the group even more. I do try and throw these quite a bit. Um, there are sometimes, like, once we start getting the 40%, I try and throw them a lot more because they're using a lot more Magicka and they're using a lot more... Um, just taking a lot more damage because of the Creepers and stuff like that. Uh, but it is a good skill. I would suggest getting Energy Orbs over Vigor. I do have a main tank uh, guide out for Cloudrest, and you'll see me throwing energy orbs as I'm kiting. 
the AoE that Zamaja does. So if I'm kiting back to the boss, uh, I'll throw energy's orbs out. And so I'll be getting hit with my energy orbs as as I'm going back to the Maja. So and then you know your your group can still pop them. So it's it's just a, it's just better to have this on figure on it in my opinion. Uh, at least for main tank. I am using crushing shock um, now. If you don't feel comfortable running a staff on your back bar, I would suggest just running two sword and board bars. And then running Deep Breath here. And Deep Breath is going to interrupt Zamaja as well. Uh, I run in Crushing Shock because I like the heavy attack um, passive on the Lightning Staff. So when I heavy attack, I'm going to get Magic back. So it's kind of it's nice when I, I don't need to take damage. Like I don't need to hit balance. I can just sit there and heavy attack. And then, you know what I mean, do what I need to do. But crushing shock is really nice. You do need to interrupt. Um, once you get more comfortable in there, I, I can kind of see you not needing one. But for now, first time going in there for the clear, definitely get to interrupt. And I do have chains. Uh, I I like chains because you can sit here and you can use this to uh, hit a hit a orb that's out there, a creeper, a mini boss, one of the ads, or Zamaja himself. And what it's going to do is going to give you that major expedition. And it's just nice that you don't need to really sprint to Samaja. If he goes across the map, you sprint for a little bit, and then you're, and then you're good. And so it's saving you a lot of stamp having to sprint all over the place. I do have Magma Show on my back bar. And the reason why is because sometimes when you are alone, um, you do... There are some oh shit moments where you you really need to like you can't you like say you run out of magicka you're running out of stam you can't heal yourself and he's about to heavy attack pop the magma shell whole block good to go I mean there's no harm in keeping yourself alive if you really really have to um, there there's just some times that you have to pop magma and there's don't be afraid to do it because if you're going for the clear use whatever you can to get that clear. Obviously, without exploiting the game. Um, we are an Argonian. And uh, most of you guys know that I've been an Argonian for damn near three years. And uh, what's really nice is just when you drink a potion, any potion, you're going to restore 4,000 health magicka and stam. So that's just really nice. Um, every passive ability in Argonian is just really nice. Increase your healing done and healing received by 5%. That's awesome. Uh, increase your max health by 9%. Poison disease resistance, not so much here. Poison resistance, maybe in Sanctum, but whatever. It doesn't really... whatever. Um, increase your max magic by 30%. That's also nice. And then uh, restoration stab doesn't matter. Increase your swimming speed. I mean, who doesn't like to swim faster than everybody else? Uh, uh, some key pointers here and passive abilities you do want medicinal use just kind of keep your um, Your potions going And let's see um, Nothing too much else of course if you're in Don and definitely want to keep that going I Did go ahead and put everything in here um, Whatever and then of course, you know, you have these in here for fighter skill. Uh, vampire, obviously you can put these in there if you if you feel like it. Uh, obviously your heavy armor, and since I don't, I'm not running any medium, I have no point to put any in here, and I'm not running any light, so there's no point to put it in here. And then of course if you put medium armor in here, um, you could probably put it in the stamina recovery, which is Windwalker and Dexterity. You could probably put it into both of those. If you did, if you were wearing medium, I wouldn't put it in here because you're not gonna sneak anywhere in a trial. Uh, and then light armor, you could probably put them in all three. Be nice. Destruction abilities, definitely put them in all three. I wouldn't really put them in here. Um, and then sword and board, obviously you put everything. Class abilities, I just put everything. Everything, everything, everything. 
So let's go into CP. Start with the green bar since it's right here. Um, I did seven, seven into Warlord just to kind of get some like break free. Five into uh, Sprinter because we are sprinting, but we're not sprinting that much, so I just don't feel the need to put as much into here. Um, uh, sometimes we do get caught with a CC, so it is nice to have that probably uh, that three percent reduction. Put 75 into magic recovery just because um, you know we we don't really need any stam because you know we have heavy attack and igneous shields or our fragmented shields or whatever. So, but uh, 75 in the uh, magic recovery is pretty nice. And then 29 into tenacity, which is also a nice. Whenever you heavy attack, you're gonna get stab on the back. And then if you heavy attack on your your um, lightning bar, you're gonna get that much more back on your staff. Put 34 in the tumbling because I, I do still tend to dodge roll quite a bit in here. I need to get out of the habit of it, but I do. And so it is nice to have a uh, reduction on that. I still have 100 in Warlord or Shadow Ward. Just because we do have to block that heavy attack. And uh, and we do have to block some attacks. So, you know, it's just nice to have that extra reduction. Uh, I have 100 and 100 uh, Blast Elfborn. You, uh, I did have 50 in here because I was running figure, uh, but I should actually change this sometime. But what might be actually maybe a little bit better if you put 120 points in the here just so you can get the tactician if you do roll dodge a lot. But yeah, that's totally preference. Uh, and here, uh, 72 ironclad. I did take quite a bit out. I've been toying with this CP for a while. Um, we did, I did have like 81 I think in here and then I just felt like I needed more into spell shield and so I just took it down to 72 put 36 in the here we took all our points out of hardy um, I, I have been taking points out of here I did have quite a bit in here uh, I had like 56 in here but I've been slowly taking it out and putting them in the quick recovery and spell shield so I'm actually about to probably take some more out of here and uh, probably put some more in the spell shield or even quick recovery. Uh, but we do have 49 LA Defender, which obviously that's probably the most basic thing. Um, and then 44, obviously thick skin. But again, I'm thinking about taking at least 10 points out or so. Maybe upping this a little bit or even putting some in the quick recovery. Which I'm thinking about putting them in the quick recovery, to be honest. Just to kind of get that extra bit of healing. Uh, other than that, that's um, that's the CP, that's the gear, that's um, skills, everything you guys need to know as far as like, uh, oh, you know what, you know what I didn't show you guys? The pots that I'm using. So the pots that I'm using, I'm using, <laughs> using trash pots for the most part. Um, if you guys watch me on stream, I'm usually using these lingering pots. But uh, on Xbox, I'm using uh, tri-step pots, and then I'm using trash pots. I use trash pots for the beginning up until the second boss, and then I start using tri-step tri pots. And then if we make it past the second boss, then I swap over to lingering pots. The lingering pots are pretty expensive. Tri-step pots are pretty expensive too, but trash pots are not. So if you're not getting it past the second boss, I would just sit there and try and use these, these trash pots. Um, trash pots easy to obtain and easy to get. They're really cheap. Lingering pots are really awesome to get. You're gonna want to use beetle scuttle, butterfly ring, and script jelly, and that's gonna give you this right here. This lingering health pots, and they're really good. They give you that major vitality, and you're gonna have major and minor vitality up with green dragon blood. So your your healing is just gonna be pretty badass. Uh, try step pots. I forget what makes them, but uh, I use because I usually just buy them. But uh, they give you health, magic, and stamina immediately, and they give you uh, recovery in them. So it's just really nice to have that. Uh, other than that, I don't really use too much of anything else. I have thought about putting uh, major fracture po potions on my back bar, but I haven't really gone through with it yet. Uh, I need to talk to my raid lead about it, whatever, but 
But anyways, uh, I will update uh, Twitter or something like that if I do end up changing to poisons on my back, or or check me out on Twitch and see if I'm ever if I'm running it or not. Because you don't, you're not gonna have any major fra minor fracture in there, so might be kind of nice to have it. I don't know. Anyways, that's the uh, that's the build video. Hope this helps you guys out. Um, you guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next video.